What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final final little pass is a business. A dead meat. Hey everybody, I've got a whole bunch of scheduling updates for you, but first, I want to point out that it was four years ago today that I released my very first kill count, covering Friday the 13th. 4.8 million subscribers and 1.7 billion views later, we're still going strong and that's all because of you. So thank you for continuing to support and watch the channel. I wouldn't have this amazing job without you viewers. I promise to continue making every video the best it can possibly be, as long as y'all keep watching. On to the housekeeping. Let's start with some unfortunate news. I know many of you wanted to see a Willy's Wonderland kill count. So many, in fact, that I literally had to block the phrase from my comments. And I shouldn't have had to do that, by the way. Comment requests get ignored. Email them, people! I was just as excited to make the episode as you were to see it, since obviously it'd be a big one. But turns out, I can't. This is the first time that this has ever happened to me, but I won't be able to cover Willy's Wonderland because it would put my channel in danger of getting a copyright strike. Now, I get copyright claims all the time. They're not too big a deal. My team disputes them, and we usually get them removed. But a strike is a much bigger deal and can restrict the channel's ability to do certain things. And of course, it also removes the video from YouTube entirely. If I were to make a Willy's Wonderland kill count, I'd risk doing all that work just to have the video removed and my channel punished. Based on my research of other videos that have featured Willy's Wonderland footage, there's a higher than normal chance that this video would be removed from the channel soon after it was uploaded. Yes, I know that some other channels have their own Willy's Wonderland videos, but I just can't risk getting a copyright strike. Strike. So unfortunately, no Willy's Wonderland kill count. I'm sorry. Shifting gears, I want to let you know that I'm also going to be changing it up when it comes to explicit content and kill counts. Y'all know I love good gore, and that I like to celebrate well-done makeup effects, because that is a normal, healthy appreciation of an artwork. But YouTube obviously doesn't see it that way, and they've been getting stricter and stricter when it comes to allowing blood and guts. For a couple of years, my solution was to get sponsors for the bloodiest movies. That way, I could still pay myself and my editors for our time, and I could leave all the fun stuff in the video without worrying about running ads on it. But lately, these sponsored videos have been getting age-restricted. And even though a sponsor takes care of the demonetization side of things, an age restriction still has dire effects on a video's views and subscriber growth, which in turn can really hurt the channel. Just as an example, Freaky was a pretty big movie and a popular kill count that brought in a lot of new viewers for me. But when it got age-restricted, that destroyed its analytics. It went from getting hundreds of new subscribers a week to a couple of dozen. That's not good for the channel's health. So from now on, I just can't show the most extreme stuff in the public videos on dead meat. I want to, but YouTube will restrict them and that will severely hurt the channel. Sponsored videos will help me get away with a little bit of stuff, but when it comes to the bloodiest content, I'm gonna have to go back to the Patreon plan. That means public videos will either blur out or exclude the most extreme blood and guts, but there will be explicit versions of the videos with all the gore included, available to patrons for only a single dollar a month. Trust me, I've gone over every possible way to approach this, and this solution seems to be the best one. You can still see the kill counts and all the jokes and production info for free, and if you want to see the nastiest gore, it's only a dollar a month. Or, you know, just watch the movie. I can't have the explicit versions for free on a second channel or anything, because that would draw people away from the public releases and once again damage the analytics. I love having this as my job, but trust me, YouTube does not make it a wholly pleasant experience. Their guidelines on explicit content are mercurial, contradictory, and flat out frustrating. I'm doing what I can here. Finally, let's go over the spring schedule for Dead Meat. First things first, the podcast will be going on hiatus after next week's episode and will return in August in one form or another. Chelsea's taking the summer off to focus on other projects, both professional and personal. I'm very excited for her. It's still a little bit of ways, but in June, we're going to premiere a brand new series made by editor and now producer Zorin. They talk! It's a look at what some of our favorite franchise killers are really saying behind those masks. Is everything all right? Uh, yes, everything is just fine, says boyfriend. You should go back inside and prepare for sexual intercourse with me. 
boyfriend. Kill Count trailers will continue to come out every Monday as long as editor Mike has the time to do them. I'm also gonna have him do most of the trailer voiceovers from now on, since his voice is great, and I was kind of forcing mine in some of them. Also, I'm gonna be playing around with how those trailers are released because YouTube's algorithm is punishing me because they're so short. Basically, even if everyone watches those videos entirely, since they're only two minutes long, YouTube's like, oh, I guess people don't want to watch your content. And then they don't recommend the rest of my videos to your subscriber feeds or whatever. Speaking of which, you should probably click that bell bleh, so you don't miss notifications when I post new content. For the trailers, I think I'll be posting them on YouTube's shorts. It's like a beta thing. And then maybe also Instagram Reels or Instagram TV. I don't know, man. YouTube, just let me make content, please. This sucks. Remember that the trailer allows you to watch the movie ahead of the kill count, and they don't affect the kill count's release in any other way. Also, we've got our annual kill count supercuts coming up for the To The Numbers bits, the Golden Chainsaws, the Doll Machetes, and the Movie begins -es. Those will kick off this Sunday and post through Sunday, May 2nd. Other non-kill count videos will be a thing, I promise. Right now, I'm planning on doing them monthly starting in May. Maybe on the second Sunday of each month, with the first Sunday of each month continuing to be for my public livestream hangouts. These other non-kill count videos will include rankings, cut comparisons, and maybe random stuff. But keep an eye out for them. Just because they're not kill counts doesn't mean they're not worth watching. And speaking of kill counts, let me tell you what's coming up on them. You already know that Friday is Mortal Kombat! And that next week is its awful sequel, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. After that, on the 23rd, I'm finally covering Host, the UK movie made entirely during Schmovid lockdowns. I'll close out April with A Bay of Blood on the 30th a film that created the template for Friday the 13th. The first May kill count will be on my birthday, May 6th, when I look at happy birthday to me, because it'll be my happy birthday. And the last three Fridays of May will be spent honoring George Romero with his original of the Dead trilogy, meaning a remake of the Night of the Living Dead kill count on May 14th, then Dawn of the Dead on the 21st, and Day of the Dead on the 28th. I'll get to his later sequels and the remakes for these movies some other time. I'm just sick of waiting to take a look at these classics that I love. All right, that's about all I want to reveal right now. I know this was a ton of information, but I always try to be open and honest with you, my audience. As the world recovers and opens back up, so too is Dead Meat meant to expand this year. I hope we can look back and say that 2021 is when the channel kicked it up a gear, what with the new series I've been working on behind the scenes. I hope you're all staying happy and healthy, and that you're as excited as I am for the future of this channel. See you on Friday for Mortal Kombat. Be good people.